Coffee is the world's most popular drink, and here in the UK, we're not averse to the odd cup, drinking 70 million of them every day. And I've got another statistic. Overall, we spend £7.9 billion a year on coffee in the UK, and the latest research suggests there's nowhere people spend more than here in Brighton. The supercharged people of Brighton are the biggest coffee drinkers in the UK, spending an average of £177 per person each year. And we were in town to take on UK Barista Championship winner Dan Fellows. Dan? Hi, Dan. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming down. Hi. So we're competing in a format that you're used to, correct? Exactly, yeah. So there'll be three challenges today. There'll be an espresso challenge, a milk course challenge, and then a signature drink challenge. Ooh, a signature drink. That's whatever we fancy. Exactly. OK, uh, and then we're going to um, have the public taste both our coffees and then vote on their favourite. Exactly. All right. Mm. Well, let's get on with it. Let's do it. Mm. Dan would be using the basic tools of his trade along with a wealth of knowledge, experience and expertise, while we'd be using none of the above. But we did have a van full of tech. Let battle commence! First round, espressos. So I'm going to start by grinding the coffee. This is an Ethiopian coffee called Nikise. Dan reckons 18.5 grams of ground coffee makes for the perfect espresso. So I'm going to make sure this is nice and level using the distribution tool. And there's an art to the tamping too. And then tamp nice and level using a flat tamper. Firm and even tamping gets rid of air pockets in the coffee, which can create a sour and unpleasant taste. We get a nice level bed of coffee. Make sure we get the brew time of 25 to 30 seconds, which is what we're looking for. So there we go. Espresso. Right, well, I mean, clearly the start of a good coffee is to get the right beans and roast them perfectly. And yes. we've got the Ikawa home roasting machine here. Which is controlled by an app. Yes. So we love that. The Akawa Digital Micro Coffee Home Roaster allows you to create a wide variety of different roasted coffee beans by varying temperature and timings. The accompanying app has a selection of recommended roasting profiles for different beans and you can also create your own. I can smell an aroma starting to come up off it. The Akawa separates the chaff from the roasted bean before cooling and delivering them in a very satisfying manner. Oh, wow. <laughs> Gosh, that's a signature trick in itself. It's the small yeah. things. That was fantastic. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Our perfectly roasted Nicaraguan coffee beans. Mm. Whereas Dan ground his coffee and then dosed and tamped them manually, we were using the Volcano Swift, which automated everything for us. Pour them in. Yep. I attach the portafilter to the bottom. Yes. It does it all at the press of one button. No way. Out it comes. And there we oh, are. You wow, see, look, look at tap, that. Ready to go into the next machine. The Lamarzocco Linear PB does the barista maths for you by weighing your coffee and then delivering the exact amount of water needed for the perfect espresso brew. You meant to suck air. Oh, that's strong. It is good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Having used a ridiculous amount of tech to create such a tiny drink, it was time to start dishing them out. This is the man versus the machine. Members of the public were asked to taste both espressos and vote for their favourite with a gold coin. Let's definitely go for this one, yeah. It's smoother. Much smoother. I think that one is stronger. That's quite citrus, isn't it? Citrus. After an hour of competing, the votes would be taken away and sealed for counting later on. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference. After 60 minutes of the public voting on their favourite free espressos, the boxes were indeed taken away and it was time to move on to challenge number two, milk-based coffee. They're going to start by steaming the milk. Dan made a cappuccino using the same espresso as in the first round. Frothed milk using a basic steam wand and a touch of flair to top it off. Right, cappuccino mm. time. To start things off, to grind our coffee beans, mm. I've got the San Remo SR70 Evo Titanium. Mm. Okay, and all you have to do is shove in your porta filter against this button and it will measure out your coffee for you. There we are. No tamping on this one. No tamping on this particular machine because I've got the puck press for that. Mm. The puck press will automatically detect the presence of a porta filter with its load. 
Uh, yeah. Yes. Very Two good. stamps. Very nice. And there we tempting. are. It's ready for the next phase, my friend. Which is the San Remo Opera Machine, which is designed to give you all the control you get with a manual espresso maker. It looks but gorgeous. Consistently. Ah. In here, there are five boilers, mm -hmm. eleven temperature sensors and heating elements, ah. and three control heads, each programmable six different ways wow. for different pressure profiles. Okay. Mm. Put the tempt coffee in there. Make up. Thank you very much. Put it underneath and operate the lever. Anyway, there it is. Ready with crema, etc., for the next stage. Next stage. It... To create our lovely fluffy milk, we used a hot point milk frother, which uses induction technology. Ah. Look, John. That's brilliant. Oh, Who wouldn't well. buy that? For decoration, we'd had these chocolate powder stencils custom-made. Unfortunately, they didn't come with instructions. Look, John, all, all over your look, face, look. I think we need more automation here with this. Oh, no, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Despite John's misgivings about the presentation of our cappuccinos, it was time to start handing them out. Hey guys, okay. would you like a really delicious coffee to try before you have a horrible one? Yeah. Sure thing. <laughs> I think that one's actually nice, sir. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> I prefer this. That's nice. two. I prefer this one. Oh, oh, three ones. Oh, this is a million times better. No. A million times. Are we, are we divided here? Mm. Oh, thank you. The Britannians seemed equally split on the two cappuccinos, despite our best efforts to win them over. You didn't see any of the arty-farty business because we believe it's about the coffee. I like chocolate sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Our chocolate sprinkles skill. Lovely, oh, that so is so stunning. Cute. Watching all of this fiddly D bit. Up at a heart. People are you? like, oh, well, oh, I'm, wow. I'm drinking a work of art, <laughs> something someone has spent there time over. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's just the taste, OK? Just the taste. Whoa, it's the experience. Not the presentation. Bit bitter that one. Oh, oh. oh. you burnt your beans, mate. A little bit bitter, but oh. that one's my favourite. Oh, I just face a coin. Oh, thank you so much <laughs> for your time. You. Oh, that hurt. No, I really did hurt. That, that, <laughs> that did hurt. <laughs> And with that, the second round was over and the votes were taken away for counting. Join us later for our third and final challenge and to see whether tech really can win the day. 